Facebook community. After that little post I made yesterday, I decided to have a little look inside the Junkrat, and also a few other heroes that I want to have a little pick at. But, honestly, I don't know what the whole complaining about Junkrat is. I mean, yeah, he has a grenade launcher, great. He shoots little projectiles that explode on impact or in a certain period of time. Yeah, because that isn't a problem in some other games, but people still play them because it's still fun as hell. But, I mean, look at this. 349 deaths in this current competitive season. I mean, sure, that's not as close to how many people I've actually killed, let alone actually killed by myself. And some other things. But that's besides the point. I mean, come on. You got a whole bunch of casts of characters. You've got these set of characters. Just this much. And you're only complaining about one. You complain about the one common denominator. It's Junkrat, no one else, not not Doomfist, not not the Dildo Bird, not not even the Edgelord, and certainly not our new candidate for the bullshit season. But for some reason it had to be Junkrat. Now I'm not really sure why, but I might as well go and have a look to see the differences between our favorite Junker to the most annoying character I actually personally think of. So without further ado, let's have a look in the training gallery. So, let's get started with the main event. Our little junkie boy, causing salt since his, since his debut in the beginning of the old. Now, he's already got a pirate skin, and thank fuck I got this, because it's... Come on, it's gorgeous. It's bloody gorgeous. Now, let's go and have a look to see what he can do. To start off, let's go with his main attributes. He's got a 5-clip grenade launcher that kills people in a certain amount of shots. Great, that's excellent. And now I'm only assuming that these training bots only have Tracer's health, given the normal circumstances of only a two-shot kill. Then you've got his Concussion Mine, sending people to oblivion. Only done that twice in my life. And then of course you got the Bear Trap. When used, only the dumbest of the dumb actually gets stuck. That being said, it's a little bit hard to understand why Junkrat is so hated. Let's spam these balls that you people ever so likely love to do, and let's see how these training bots set on a path actually get killed. Now I know there's only about four of them, so I'm going to shoot in random directions. No training bots died. Let's try that again. Only one died. Only one. And that did not take very long. It only took two clips, and all those bots just deliberately dodged them. Only three of them survived. And also, ever since the nerf, it's also been a little bit easier for them, but it's a little bit harder for us junkers to actually aim these things. I mean, sure, it's not as hard, but it's only just slightly harder. Now let's have a look at the rip tire, shall we? It's only slowed down by a single point, but it can also be easily destroyed, along with your soul. So I really don't see the complaining point of the entire Junkrat series that everyone seems to make in their own little time on the computer, probably sweating milk because they ran out of salt to give. So let's look at the other heroes and see how bad they go. Genji, everyone's favorite mercy shipper. And of course, with every other ninja waifu that ever comes into every single game, he has a very decent loadout set. He can deflect, he can charge at people, and charge at people again if he manages to kill them, like a little Power Ranger on crack. Now let's see what happens. If I go like this, and then go like that. Oh my god, he's still alive. Great. And look, that's fully recharged. Let's do this again. So, I want to... Throw this, and this. Say if some of these people were already hurt. Give those people a little damage. There we go. Now let's charge at that, and charge again. And I missed, because I don't play Genji. Because I do not want to flip around like a fucking moron for the entire game. I'm sure some of you like to do it, but that's not my concern. 
Especially since deflecting is probably the best for Bastions, and any other poor bastard only points in one direction. And then, of course, you've got his Dragon Blade, which will come up immediately now. Now, let's have a look. See how quickly you can kill someone? Yeah, it's pretty decent, isn't it? Oh, did I forget to mention this is one of the good ways to kill Junkrat? By deflecting shit and using the sword? Yeah, me neither. Hanzo, the only person that got a recent change in his ability set. Now instead of actually scattering his arrows, he gets to scatter his arrows in one direction instead of everywhere. As shown here, you can easily tell that you can easily pretty much kill a lot of classes. Unless if you're a certain shield riding bastard that I know. And not to mention his little solar panel is quite deadly. And he doesn't seem to be that much of a problem these days unless you're a really good Hanzo. And due to the recent just the recent changes, I've seen a lot of actual good Hanzos these days. They can be extremely accurate, know when to kill someone, and fucking hell, stay still. And nothing more. Now let's get to the fun part. Here's Ultimate, which, are, which is so easy to avoid that only people who bitch about Junkrat would die from it. And that's kind of ironic because most people normally don't know what a fucking attack looks like. Now with that out of the way, he seems to do a lot more damage than Junkrat, so yeah, he only gets... You only get two shots to do it. This dude... Hmm, let's see. Oh, one. Okay, let me use this part. Let me see. Oh, it only does that. Oh, he can also see other people through walls? Oh my god! It's almost like he's a little bit more annoying than Junkrat! But he can actually attack from a long distance. That's a little bit more dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost like no one cares about that little detail. Alright, I spent too much time on him, haven't I? Moving on. I have not forgotten about this hero at all. Farah, codenamed Dildo Bird, is one of the most hated heroes in my book. Reason being is because I can't personally hurt Farah unless she's really dumb enough to come into my range after I do a concussion mind jump. But apart from that, I absolutely can do absolutely nothing against Farah because she can easily be high in the air, and since my projectile nerf has been changed, I can't hit her as easily, which makes it easier for this gigantic nuisance of a bird to actually attack me straight on. And having a little bit more oomph in her hits, and having one extra rocket in her clip, and she can also fucking fly all over the map, people still think that Junkrat is the problem, and not the bastard that's currently shoving metal exploding dildos into your next week. Now let's talk about her ultimate, which I will get in a few more shots. I only said a few. I know I'm not accurate. But this isn't showing off how badass I am, this is just showing off how fucking annoying other heroes can be, instead of just the one junk rat. Now let's have a look at her ultimate, shall we? The splooge attack. That's also survivable, and yet, when used correctly, it can completely fuck someone's day over. And the, the almighty, I'm going to push you off the edge missile... Oh shit. May, the only one that can give the Ice Queen from Narnia a run for her money. Due to the recent buff, she can now freeze multiple enemies at once. Instead of just, you know, the one sucker that has to suffer through the Ice Age. Now, she isn't really that hard to kill, per se, unless you're too busy trying to kill, oh, I don't know, the junk rat you hate so much. But, in all seriousness, though, she can be very good, just as, as long as it's not in a custom server, because then you can't kill me in a custom server, because everyone likes to buff me in a custom server, making her completely unkillable. Now, about her ultimate, it's not very hard to avoid, but it's not very hard to, you know, screw up about getting stuck in it either. Junkrat can get caught in it, mind you, unless he knows how to use his concussion mines. 
Unless he doesn't have any, because the cooldown system is extremely harsh for Junkrat. Now let's use her ultimate. Yeah, it's really effective, isn't it? It's too bad no one uses it and too busy bitching about Junkrat. Oh, by the way, she's probably a much more bigger troll than any other character in the game. Everyone's favorite robot horse. Well, that was horrible. Everyone's favorite robot horse. Alright, you want know screw you. Orissa seems to be pretty good when it comes to a certain meta that I will be talking about later on. But she can also be quite dangerous when it comes to an Orissa slash Orissa battle. What you would normally do is usually put a shield down. Then when the Orisa is stupid enough to come close, block and aim for the head. And before you know it, she is good as dead. Now, in most cases, she's pretty good for payload maps and hell, pretty much any map that involves objectives. But probably not team death matches because that is annoying as hell. But in all seriousness though, she can be extremely dangerous, yet people still complain about Junkrat. Especially since Junkrat's not the one sitting behind the shield. That's normally the Bastion. That was quick. Oh, health shredded. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's got so much power. Well, that's what you expect from something called a minigun, now wouldn't ya? Obviously, Bastion also has a pretty good sidearm. Still killable, mind you. Last time I checked, he's only got 300 health, and sure, when he's in turret mode, he takes half the damage. But that doesn't mean you can't kill him. You've got a Genji. You've got Junkrat, for crying out loud, to take him out. But nah, you'd rather just bitch about Junkrat instead. Now, of course, his ultimate is pretty average, to say the least. I mean, sure, it can probably kill characters like Tracer and the Crazy Witch Lady, also known as Mora, if I even say that correctly, like I give a damn. It's still a little bit hard to control, because it can still not kill him. Unless if it's a direct hit. Then it counts. Ryan Fart. Probably one of the dumbest shield takes I've ever seen anyone actually play as. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because if you're actually ever seeing a Ryan Hart play in competitive, most of them like to stand in that one position, but they also seem to have a habit of not turning around when they have their ass hanging out while being shot. That's not exactly a problem for some people, because some of them actually learn. Sadly, however, not all of them can learn. Well, being in an area full of training bots isn't exactly the best way to explain this character. However, I can definitely say that there is the difference between a good one and a bad one. The good ones normally give your ass a very bad time, and most of the people seem to forget the big glowing bubble around the person's actual body, and that they still decide to shoot anyway, giving this Russian stereotype a run for your money. Now I can easily just say, oh yeah, well what about Junkrat, you got anything to say about that? Well actually I do. Junkrat can easily be destroyed if played correctly with this character. You can block his concussion mines, walk over his traps while bubbled. You can still kill the fucker if you actually, you know, I don't know, try. With that being said, this one can counter everything, but it can also be countered by everything. This, ladies and gentlemen, is something that would happen if, if Reinhardt and Mercy had a baby. But, yeah, I really don't know how many people complain about her, but, like I said before, all I have to do is just go into the Overwatch community forums, and I would just see a lot, and a lot, and a lot about Brigitte. I don't know why, though. Sure, she can get you from a distance, and she can give people health and armor, and she's got a shield of her own, and she's pretty much now the queen of the stun mechanic. But, I really don't see the problem. Junkrat is pretty much now the king of making Brigitte's day miserable. But people just don't seem to like that as much, having Junkrat to help them. Good god, what are the consequences of that? But if you really, really want to buff 
or nerf Brigitte, then don't worry, I'm pretty sure another month or two of bitching will probably change the developer's mind. Oh, and it's as if the uh, ultimate of Brigitte isn't helpful enough. I always enjoy getting more health. Yeah, I always enjoy getting the extra help. I saved the best for last. The only one that can make every single character's life a living hell from the beginning to the end. From ruining your special attacks to ruining your ultimates. From actually stealing your medkits to stealing your mercy. Sombra can literally take the whole game by storm just by either hacking or being an EMP douchebag. And just by doing that, she can easily ruin the whole game for the other team. I've seen a lot of competitive Sombras, and a lot of them are an absolute pain to deal with. Because of them, I can't concussion mine. I can't heal people properly as Zen. And more importantly, you lose your shield as Zen if Zombra gets her hands on you. So, I really don't know about you guys, but if you really, really hate Chunkra, only because you die from him in so many ways, hell, not even if it was just one main reason, and not because of any other character in the whole game giving you so much shit to deal with, then I don't know what to tell you guys, but quite honestly, I really couldn't give less of a shit. If you haven't realized yet, just like the actual post I made, this is also a test to see how many people would watch this whole video and actually react normally. And I would really love to see the flame shoot up in the comments in the entire section of Facebook. But yeah, that's all I have to say, and if you actually reach the end of the video, I am proud of you. I'm also proud to those who have common sense and don't normally say the same shit that everyone hasn't already said. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and maybe I'll make another video, probably making some more shit and giggles. Oh, and one more thing before I finish up. Here is a little... Junk rap montage. Enjoy. Fire! Well... 